Airless tires are coming, and they'll attract a lot of attention. Engineers are literally reinventing the wheel with their airless tire designs. Some cleverly take on existing models. Others are truly cutting edge. Let's dive into the various designs and answer the question, are airless tires the future? Air is a big part of how tires work, but airless tires are designed quite differently. They're a lot like one of the most impactful inventions in our history, the wheel. Their treads are very similar, but past this layer, things start to get very different. Right below the tire's tread is the shear layer. Shear is the ability of an object to handle strain under pressure. It's tough to design this part of an airless tire, as stiffness and elasticity have to be balanced out. Tire makers achieve this by cutting away at the shear layer strategically, with the most successful designs featuring alternating diagonal spokes. These ribbed spokes serve the same function pressurized air does in a regular pneumatic tire. This all sounds good in theory, but how well does it work in practice? Airless tires are already widely in use. Today, they're most often used in the agricultural industry and are being considered for some military applications. Those are two industries that would definitely benefit from tires that can't go flat. Most airless tires you see today are manufactured by Michelin. Their first attempt at the airless tire, the Tweel, actually hit the market in 2005. Today it is primarily used on slow-moving vehicles such as lawnmowers, small construction and agricultural machines, military off-road vehicles, or fitted to loaders such as the Bobcat. The Tweel has been used as a template for airless tires around the world. Even NASA is looking to use it on their lunar rovers. But what about passenger cars? The Tweel has some disadvantages. For one, at speeds of more than 50 miles per hour, the tire vibrates a lot. This makes it very noisy. It also generates a lot of heat. So Michelin unveiled a new improved airless tire, the Uptis. It is made from a mixture of rubber and a blend of flexible fiberglass. It also features a different arrangement of spokes. As a result, Uptis can handle much higher speeds than the Tweel without overheating or becoming unbearably loud. Other tire manufacturers such as Goodyear and Bridgestone have also expressed interest in helping bring airless tires to the mainstream with their own takes on their perfect airless tire. On the other hand, companies like Hankook are pushing the boundaries of what can even be considered a tire in the first place. They've joined forces with the university to create the HPS cell. Their concept car includes an airless tire that can sense road conditions and change tread patterns on the go using a variable wheel design. With airless tires, we can say goodbye to flat tires once and for all, but there are other benefits to them. Airless tires can be greener, they tend to use less material, and many proposed designs use less rubber, which means fewer microplastics washed into rivers and oceans. Airless tires would also raise the overall safety of driving considerably by removing an extremely common cause of car accidents, tire failure. Each year, roughly 11,000 crashes occur as a direct result of tire failure in the U.S. There's definitely a lot to be excited about when it comes to these tires of the future. Once the technology's ready, we'll all be able to enjoy a much safer, more convenient driving experience.